Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Friday, 4th of November public strategy call. The first one without Nathan leading it for a long time, unfortunately. Um, yeah, we'll probably rotate around people leading this call uh, for today. I can lead it. I just put together a simple agenda um, looking through the Parallax DHGov worker proposal briefly, uh, just to draw attention to it. Then I think the main topic will be NIMI. Uh, there were some requests to talk about that in the forum. Uh, and then we can talk about restructuring in phase two. Uh, Kian isn't here, so maybe that will be a brief discussion. Uh, but I think there's also a proposal slated to go up today on that. Um, so yeah, just jumping right in, there was a proposal I posted uh, yesterday on Valtalk, uh, which was going over a proposal for some work to be done on DXGov. Uh, by some ex uh, by an external dev team um, called Parallax. They were ref referred to us by Orbis, which is the platform we're building on uh, for the social and off-chain uh, governance aspect of Devi. Uh, so it's a pretty important uh, part of Devi um, and something that's very important. We have larger plans for it, but this is the idea to get a social MVP just out there uh, as soon as possible as we start onboarding and using Debbie internally. Um, so yeah, this was the, the reason I was trying to draw attention to it is obviously there was, uh, there's been a bit of discussion recently around contractors and this is technically using contractors for something, but it's a, a very small, uh, very small budget wise and it's scoped to just a single feature. So I just wanted to get some, uh, some consensus, social consensus on it before I send the document for them to start working on it. Uh, I don't know if anyone had any thoughts. It seems to have had good reception up until now. No, Dave. I think it closes okay. before it turns down. Oh, no, there it goes. Um, no, um, yeah, I mean, it seems kind of good and like the price seems good. Uh, just question on like where Paralex, is that the, how you say it? Um, where did they, uh, how do we find them? Like, what's the connection through them? Yeah, so I think I've been pronouncing it parallax, like the visual effect parallax. Um, it was after a meeting with Orbis Club in, uh, in Bogota, I mentioned that uh, probably it'll come a couple of updates after we launch Devi in public beta, uh, just because there's a lot of stuff to do. Um, and although it's important, it's also a bit of a time sink for us to build all the components and the UI required for the discussions to appear both in discussions and under proposals. Um, the Arbus, I wrote briefly in it in the forum post, but it's a, an SDK that's built on top of Ceramic. And it does a lot of indexing for us and is super powerful and awesome. The team's great as well. Um, and so then they referred us to Parallax, which has already done a couple of integrations. Uh, I can see if I can find the links to them and put them in the forum as well, but they've done some integrations for, I think, mostly NFT projects that had chat features in their UIs. Um, and so they have experience doing this before. It's also not really reinventing anything. It's very simple, just a discussion where you can have threads and reactions, um, nothing new there. Uh, and they quoted us $1,500 for it. Do you, in your in your guess, do you think this yeah fully replaces discourse? So everything that happens in discourse currently can would be able to be done in Orbis in da, in Davi. Uh, with the work being done here, it's just an MVP, so not yeah, not for one thousand five hundred dollars. Uh, but we have plans to replace everything. So like we, one of the coolest parts that we can do with. Uh, with Orbis is polling, but we can actually configure it to use the same uh, like token weighted uh, voting powers that you would actually have in real governance. So we could replicate uh, like rep or TXD or something in those polls. So when you're voting, you actually see the actual percentage you're, you're voting with, which would essentially be snapshots, uh, but inside of Devi and inside of the discussions part of Devi. The MVP will just do discussions. So you'll be able to create a discussion like a forum post and then be able to create a, 
uh, like have comments underneath that, have threads, like replying to comments, uh, <laughs> give support. Uh, I don't know. I guess potentially. Uh, we're just going to be rendering stuff. Uh, it will have emojis. Uh, and then we're also just going to replicate that component under proposals as well. So when you create a proposal, you also have comments. Uh, it's the same. Nothing so if, if, if the MVP has all that, um, mm -hmm. sounds like it could replace discourse because an MVP just to like put it in there for 1500 bucks, but it's like, if it doesn't replace discourse, then it's, then it's not, yeah, that's not gonna fill the need. So what is it going to cost to like get it all in Davi and replace discourse? And if we're betting on Orbis, um, how when would when is that when it would it be to the state where you can actually use that instead of discourse because then that's when it becomes more valuable i guess yeah i would say i would say like it, it covers most of the core parts of discourse the one part that's probably missing is the uh polling which actually we tend to use quite a lot um and that will come it will come later um but yeah we, we haven't i the document I wrote to them, I, I listed out all these features and like if they do good work, I think we'll use them in the future. Um, the logic behind the pricing on this is that essentially it's going to take, uh, it's going to be a lot more expensive for our devs to do this than it will for them to do it. It's not complex work, like we don't really need to utilize our devs, which have like a very core understanding of the contracts, the governance, like how the, how the application works. This is just developing a small part of that. It's not really integrated with the rest. Uh, so no, I don't know how much they'll charge for the whole product. I'd imagine we can talk with them later and see how efficient it would be for them to continue working on on the advanced features that we have planned, but not uh, fully spiked out yet. I think we already had a recording, but now we have to. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> uh cool any other questions or comments on the on the proposal for uh for using parallax to develop this uh discussions component for our social mvp i'll take that as a no and we can move on to the next uh the next topic which is probably going to be the one that takes up most of the time i'd imagine uh so there was some so there were some requests for uh, an EMI discussion, some discussion in the forum starting from Zet's worker proposal, and then it got moved to the NIMI incubation uh, discussion thread on DAOTOC. Uh, and so I guess maybe the NIMI guys can take it away. I think the idea was to give like an update and have a room for questions both from the NIMI, uh, from NIMI's perspective as well as DXDAO's perspective. Oh, we unmute at the same time. That was kind of romantic. Um, well, I don't know. Do you want to start that maybe, given that it like started on your thread, I guess? Maybe some background for people who don't know. I think you're better at freestyling, so we could, we could do it. OK, so you're muted. So you can... <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll do this. Then. Yeah, but. Um... So let's let's maybe talk a little bit about um, about the why I think we we actually made two choices for for Dijkstra, but it doesn't mean that Dijkstra was forced to take any of these. But Nimi basically was uh, discussed a lot, and I think there was a lot of discussions that that just wasted a lot of time, in my opinion, at least. It took way too much time for, for DeekStow to just uh, uh, come to consensus on, on what is NIMI for DeekStow, right? And for us internally, just having all of this discussion, I think it was a little bit unhealthy. Uh, it was different different opinions. And so I, I guess we we uh, tried to make a way, a path forward where where 
hopefully everyone would be happy. And so we, we proposed an incubation route, which would basically mean that XDAO gets a fair share of, of NIMI and NIMI gets uh, to use DXDAO's resources to be able to make NIMI successful. And uh, that was the main idea. I uh, remember the talks back then was like, what does it mean? And no one really knew what they meant. I remember we, we discussed this uh, at least in calls and not so much in, in the forum. I think that's why maybe some DXD holders are a bit confused on what is it? What does it mean? What is an incubation? And we don't have this in, in exact writing of what it means because we don't know. Uh, I, I said at least from my point of view what the expectations was and uh, the expectation from my side was any any startup, any project could come to DXDAO uh, with uh, yeah with goals similar to what DXDAO wants to push and ask DXDAO and the resources that DXDAO holds to, to make this idea a success. So uh, I at least believe that DXDAO is, 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 is good at building projects. Maybe it's not like overall good at building projects, uh, but uh, um, I think we learned a lot and there is some resources DXDAO could help to make, to make Nimi a successful uh, product. Um, I said already in the beginning, Maybe uh, what what Nim would be interested in is is having like development help uh, resources from uh, DX Voice to help help out moderate and set up the Discord um, the contacts DX now holds uh, pulling threads from from the yeah from people's contacts uh, and and obviously uh, having people work on uh, Nimi uh for a time period uh, of, of six months that's what we decided uh so yeah it was a little bit unclear what it what what this meant uh, there were no like numbers set on on what the limits were and we yeah decided to to yeah just explore how how this would work and here we are today three months later Thing I missed. So maybe the style side of things, how 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 things, uh, yeah, how this in incubation looked like from the beginning. Uh, I can add. I guess color from my perspective when we yeah i guess well once the nimi idea was made at a hackathon for many months it was kind of in this limbo and no one knew what to do with it even though it had traction and it would have been better if dxdao could could have or dxdao and dxdao community and contributors could have moved faster probably but it took a while and and then yeah to help move it forward the 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 because the the team that made nimi was came from you know, were contributors to dxdao at a hackathon we're trying to think of a way that that these people which is a good opportunity could work could dedicate times toward advancing nimi because nimi could have just gone and raised money on its own and the team left and it could start its own product but the team, I don't think wanted to do that. Like the idea was to advance it further along. And so DXDAO could just um, like give it some money and then those people could leave and, and, and do something. But those people, yeah, my understanding was the team didn't wanna, well, had a lot of responsibilities in DXDAO and also didn't wanna just fully leave DXDAO and not raise money at that immediate time. And so the question is, how could Nimi get further along that would benefit Nimi, would benefit DXDAO, would work with, with the would work for the, the team members, um, which were being determined who, yeah, who was that team. And so we came up with, yeah, I guess with Dave mainly came up with this idea of 
an incubation grant, which DXDAO had never done. Um, it's only done grant investments into external projects and, and teams building stuff. It had never um, given a grant to uh, an internal product. It has came up with new products, like when Federico came up with Carrot, it's like, oh, that's a great idea. Let's dedicate you know, resources towards it. DXDAO mainly dedicated Federico. We probably should have dedicated more earlier on. Um, and so then the the other idea was like, well, if Nimi didn't want to build under DXDAO, and it was like, let's see if it was even possible to build a product alongside or outside of DXDAO, and maybe it could you know, do things faster, become maybe be more centralized rather than decentralized, sacrifice on a handful of things that would help it get more users faster. Like the idea I think we talked about, Dave, was like get to a million users. Like how how can Nimi get to a million users, which makes it really interesting at that point, um, which is like obviously the Web3 space plus more. And so the idea of the incubation grant was to get it money so that it could actually go hire people that could help it, whether those are designers, front end, back end, whatever. But then it's obviously still being managed by the team, but the team, if they didn't pay any attention to it, that would be a problem. So the team would also want to dedicate a bunch of their time, um, their their work week, plus their outside their work week towards NIMI. So part of the incubation grant was that DXDAO would continue to pay contributors and they could um yeah take a portion of their time and and use it towards nimi and obviously they've been spending a bunch of extra time as well on nimi like in in bogota a lot of the you know side time and stuff was built on doing things for nimi to get it out there in front of people um and so just as a and and then in addition to that like DXDAO, different people at DXDAO, different um, resources could also help NIMI um, where it made sense. Um, and so I think NIMI's progressed a bunch since this whole thing started, but it's not clear um, how how much it's progressed and what it's like necessarily plans are because it's operating outside of DXDAO. It's not normally like updates aren't going to like, we don't do too many NIMI updates and stuff. We do some dev updates on the dev call, but there's not a lot of like outside of that. And so, yeah, so DXDAO is never like, doesn't run an incubator. So this incubation grant is like working at the very basic level of people are spending time on NIMI furthering it along and are getting paid by DXDAO to do that. And if Nimi succeeds, that would, you know, that brings success to, to DXD, DXDAO and DXD holders as well. Um, the part that probably has been missing is things that Nimi needs to grow faster and bigger and better, like representation in the space or marketing or the community or potentially like design help and stuff like, hasn't been directly probably given from DXDAO. I think better communication between DXDAO and NIMI, NIMI's needs would help that. Um, yeah, like I've been, you know, Dave's been, oh, like I'm going to be presenting on a social FI panel tonight. I'm, and I'm, I've been wanting to re represent NIMI as, as part of that. And so I'm, trying to get up to speed on what the future vision and things of NIMI are so that I can position it like for success in this social FI panel, which is very new in the, or vertical in the space. Um, but th that's like, that's my perspective on the relationship between NIMI and DXDAO. Um, obviously more can be done, um, but wh where people are spending their time and and how that's going to change over time also needs to be, I guess the, the probably the goal was to get Nimi far enough along in the six month incubation period that Nimi could go off and have massive success and has hundreds of thousands of users and then um, would 
like eventually you know spin off and probably raise money as its own product i think um but that's i guess that depending on where it is at that state in time yeah that's my summary yeah um and i guess like my perspective to start with um maybe a little bit different from others is i i think things are going pretty well um i think this whole uh, experiment is like kind of working out in a in a good way both where i think nimi's in a good position is like kind of grown uh the last couple of months but at the same time like it is maybe um it has kind of the space to think a little bit bigger because um it is still really under the umbrella of, of dx dow in terms of some support there um and i think dx dow has benefited because it still has a lot of the nimi team that is helping out on the other products rather than having the nimi team kind of working on its own um and not um and kind of leaving dx dow scrambling to have to find other other people to fill in that gap um so i i think we're figuring out how it works and there's a whole lot to learn and i think yeah there's a lot of things that maybe have not gone perfectly but i think broadly speaking um maybe it important to say that this is like i think kind of going uh well um i did google the word incubate to get a definition because i always think that's um helpful um this is the one it gave it says of a bird sit on eggs in order to keep them warm and bring them to hatching um and then like especially in a laboratory to keep eggs cells bacteria at a suitable temperature so that they develop um so yeah i mean i think there's maybe something about the environment that one side is providing dx dow is providing and then the other one is kind of doing some growing until they're like quote hatching um and so i think that's that's kind of what is i actually still think a, a good metaphor for how um this works um in terms of what dx dow provides for incubation um i think the first thing it provides for incubation is money and compensation and the room or to to kind of breathe and function there um and so i think the um way that the but yeah i guess both the 100k grant but then also paying for at 40 percent of the time um those are really i think the core part of the incubation and providing that core compensation um then i think there are you know you look at other incubation programs like what are they kind of offering you they're offering you advice mentorship connections um and like maybe <clears throat> even kind of further down the line more more like uh more things that maybe require uh more resources like kind of sky was saying in terms of design help uh and doing that and so maybe there are some specifics we can think about what um, Deke Style could do more in terms of, in terms of advice, mentorship, or all of those things. But I think because the NEMI team is already integrated into DX Style, that a lot of the like product feedback or you know strategic guidance that um, maybe an external incubation program would provide, like all that was kind of happening um, naturally. But I think it would make sense to maybe try to have some um, more specific things going forward uh, that we can have there. Um, and then, yeah, I just, I, I kind of liked Ross questions. So I don't know if Ross wants to um, ask them there, but uh, that's kind of what um, I was thinking, as I said, I think broadly speaking, like I think things are kind of going well, even if it is a little uncertain on how it should function. Uh, yeah, I can just, uh, I guess, ask my questions. I wrote in the chat, um, these are just like, things I feel like have been boiling up in the forum and I've had a couple of questions about myself, which is like, where is probably a good time to be having this discussion because we're three months through roughly, I think, um, but like what NIMI team's expectations are for after the six months would be useful to know from the DX DAO side. And then the next one is just kind of about what we've been talking about of what does incubation mean? Um, I think the proposal was uh, pretty vague. Uh, the initial one maybe not a bad thing but like especially around pay and i guess what the nimi guys expectations are for like expanding the nimi team while still using like does the if a new member joins the nimi team from dxdao or even externally does that um does the 60 40 split still still apply to that and i think maybe clearing that up 
for Nimi as well as just future, uh, any future potential incubations would make a lot of sense. Yeah, I mean, we, we've already had external people contribute to DXDAO, which have like obviously not been remunerated by DXDAO at all. So um, I think that part is pretty clear. Um, on the other hand, I don't know. I mean, I think it's just something for DXDAO to decide. You know, I know Sky also. Has Recording been... has stopped. Jesus. Um, I know Sky for a long time has also been a proponent of like people one day a week working on something they want to, you know, like, uh, I don't know if we could like, use some time of Dirk or Venki or whoever else, you know, is interested in contributing. I'm sure that would help us a lot. But then again, of course, I think it's like, yeah, making a decision of how something like that would work, right? Which, of course, we can't make on our own. And of course, for us, it would be great. But, you know, I think it's like something um, that does need to be discussed or agreed upon. And in terms of the proposal on your first question, I think it's pretty clear that like the DXDAO support kind of stops after six months, right? So like there would not be any, um, um, yeah, contribution to like, you know, part of the salary being paid, etc. And, you know, I think the goal for Nimi, of course, is uh, if it wants to be successful is to like go and work full time on it. You know, I think that's like, in general, if you are want to run a, you know, successful startup, uh, you know, I think it's like build up period works well for both sides, of course, like I know all the NIMI contributors are also busy uh, working on other stuff at DXDAO, so like not just dropping that overnight and allowing NIMI to be built up like gradually, I think makes sense. And um, and my mom is shouting at me because she's just visiting. Ich bin gerade im Call, danke schön. Yes, and um, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, and yeah, that was, I think, the end to my question. Sorry, my mom just distracted. Has Nimi, has Nimi tried or been able to um, attract outside contributors with using its capital? Like, if it needs front-end design instead of Dirk, like, is it hard to find outside designers? Or is it, is it, has it spent money on hiring outside help or not? I mean, we've had contributors so far, but they've actually not been compensated. They've just been working on Nimi kind of like in startup mode. Uh, we have been exploring for branding. Yeah, going to like an external firm, et cetera. Um, we, we are, Nimi has actually not spent any money outside of like IT infrastructure and like upkeep, um, which is something we could probably improve upon. But like, I think we also want to keep the team relatively small. Like, I think like Nimi is a very simple concept uh you know i think like instagram sold for a couple of billion with like eight employees or something like that i think like we kind of want to keep for sure like the in the team relatively intimate so it's not like you know if we had the capital available to hire like 10 engineers i don't know if we would need them you know so like i think it's more like specific areas we lack a bit of um support in right now and i think like we're trying to bridge those strategically yeah, yeah. Like as an example, I know the community, well, there's like groups of community um, managers and stuff out there. Like, and I, I think the Discord needs help. And like, if, yeah, Keenan's been busy, like DX or Nimi, DXDAO can do this too. Like, pay someone, you know, $500 a month to like build up and manage and run the Discord if, if it desires that. But like, I, get, I agree hiring 10 devs or something is different but it has only a certain amount of money but using that money um f for part-time help or design one-off help and stuff like it should it should try to do that i mean if, if that's not if it's not possible to find people that's another story but it has money it should spend that money to like move it as fast as possible right yeah absolutely and that's also why we you know like uh we we are talking to like some design firms to kind of cover all of that aspect and stuff. Uh, we had some community mods to volunteer and stuff, and like uh, we like we have had people, yeah. But um, yeah, yeah, is it hard? Is it hard? Like, are you finding that like only you know you guys only have like a portion of your time to dedicate to Nimi? Is it hard to? get stuff done and build and do everything you want when you're only doing it yeah as a part part of your of your week kind of thing 
Yeah, I mean, I think it's definitely challenging, especially if you consider like maybe like uh, of the people working at Nimi, not everyone works on Nimi at the same time. You know, they have like different commitments at the Xtal, so maybe you're working on Nimi on different days, etc. So like communication and coordination, I think definitely suffers from that. You know, like because it's not like you can text someone and just be expecting them to be working on a certain thing on that given day and time. Uh, so I think, you know, there's definitely some downside to that in, in that aspect. Um, but yeah, that's, that's maybe I could chime in a little bit. Um, so I, I think obviously, uh, like this incubation agreement we did, so we could start working on, on Nimi. I, I at least felt a little bit blocked to keep on working on Nimi because I, I work 100% on Swapper, right? And Swapper has a lot of work to do. And I was already, yeah, uh, I at least felt already uh, at that time, uh, I had too much work. I couldn't, we tried to like work on the weekends and the evenings, but to be honest, I was already doing that for, for Deeks now. So um, um, to make it possible for Nimi to move forward without hurting Deeks now, the incubation model, I, I guess, were were the best best way to do it. Uh, there were some some people telling me to quit the Xtao entirely and just work on Nimi, uh, and I said that's not the solution if you care about the Xtao, right? Because that will leave the Xtao with with no uh, pro product owner, no designer for for Swapper and and the other the other things I, I was uh, helping out with uh, at that time. So, so when the proposal, NIMI proposal, uh, the incubation got through, I remember immediately after a lot of drama happened and that drama took up a lot of time from everyone, including, including NIMI, NIMI squad, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and the immediate thing that happened was everyone was at least from what i felt the people that was interested in in helping out on nimi didn't ask to help out on nimi anymore i don't i don't know why but it just it was a little bit of of who stays at the style right because that proposal actually said one third of everyone i guess at the style would be fired or whatever and there was a lot of discussions and and everyone wanted to be good for the style right so uh showing that you you want to work some on something else than deke style at that time was not very popular uh so so i, I guess that was a very very bad timing for 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 nimi uh, to be incubating because uh 80 of all the energy people put put in at that time was was to solve all the all the drama um and and uh, as as a product owner of, of swapper we we weren't planning on we were planning actually on on downscaling, right? Which we did. We we fired five people from from our squad, uh, and this this actually makes Swapper vulnerable to to not be able to succeed with this roadmap if if people went on and worked on Nimi, right? Um, so me as a squad owner, uh, sorry, squad a product owner, uh, couldn't go ahead and say as a Nimi uh, Nimi co-founder say, hey. You and you, I need help from you guys. Would you like to offer some help because you were, you guys were interested? Uh, I didn't do that. I didn't push for that because I knew if I did, Swapper would hurt because we 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 don't have any full time developer. Uh, that's that's the reality right now. Um, so I, I don't know how, what to say. Like I think the timing was very 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 bad. And then also let's not forget we we almost almost a uh, whole month at least most of us were, were in colombia and we're part of this uh, retreat and and the conference and i think we we almost lost the whole month uh, uh yeah being there i mean it was it was good for nimi i'm just saying from the incubation perspective i don't think anyone had time to to work on anything else and then uh, being present at at the conference and the task they had at at, at the Ixtao. Uh, so yeah, I would say the three months that passed from the incubation point of view, I would say it's a, it's a failure. Uh, 
from Nimi's perspective, I'm not talking about the incubation, just like how it's gone from Nimi. It's, it's gone good. You're right, Chris. It, it is good, but it is not because of the incubation. Uh, of course, me, Dave, Adam, and, and Milan all are able to work on on uh, on Nimi because of the incubation, but there were other options, and incubation is is not the like incub to yeah we could have worked like 100% on Nimi right which would make uh, Nimi even gone further than it is so I would say from from the incubation perspective I would say three months have passed I wouldn't recommend any other squad uh, team or or any other product to 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 be incubated in this way and maybe yeah it is unfair because this is a very very bad timing and uh, we went through all of this stuff and re reconstructing and refocusing and I don't think yeah that's a, a good healthy ecosystem for for anyone to incubate uh you asking chris asking what was stopping you from going 100 well, it sounded like you that's, just said it would be better if you had like you could have done 100 for nimi yes yeah, yes 100 stopping you from doing that i care too much about dxdao that's why but i guess I'll, you're saying it didn't work out for dxdao because of this and so, like, if you think it's better to go to 100%. I didn't say, it, I would say from Nimi's perspective, like, just think about Nimi as a product of its own. Uh, having 100% attention from me, Adam, Dave, and Bilan would be better from the product perspective, yes. For DeekStyle, I think yeah, that I mean, would I think if you us. think that, then you, and, like, that's best for Nimi. Like, DeekStyle, you know, has... 10% of Nimi. So I think DXDAO is very much incentivized to do its best for Nimi. But, but so you, so you, what you're saying is if, if I left that day three months ago, it would have hurt, in my opinion, at least it would have hurt DXDAO, right? So yeah, I, I agree. I also don't think it would have helped Nimi though, I guess is like my point. Um, yeah, like yeah. I don't feel like Nimi had the money to do that. You'd be spending through like monies, so I guess I'm kind of challenging the this hasn't worked out narrative. Uh, what uh, can you repeat that? I don't understand that part. Um, well, like I guess I don't think Nimi would be better off if you went 100% of your time because I think that that wouldn't have been able to have been possible in terms of like I don't starting everything like right at once. Um, so. Yeah, I, I, again, I, I, I take it where I think this has worked for Deke Stout and for Nimi. I know there's lots of like kind of chaotic things in there, but I guess I'm not, yeah, I'm not really understanding why it hasn't worked out for Nimi. So I'll, uh, maybe I'll, I'll try to rephrase what I, I'm, I'm saying here. From, from Nimi's perspective, ignore our loyalty to Deke Stout, Swapper, whatever we have. If, if all of us were 100% on Nimi, and DXDAO was not involved, no money, no resources from DXDAO, I think Nimi would have been further. That's what I'm saying. If if you do disagree, I would maybe... Yeah, I mean, I think you would need like capital. Why. I think you need capital to be where you are. What did we use? Which kind of cap? What do we use with the capital? We haven't touched Well, I'm anything. saying where Nimi is right now is Nimi has $100,000 in the bank and is like has a standing right and that's a pretty good position to be in you would not be in the financial position you are now without the styles initial upfront payment and then also paying you like every month and also paying for you guys to go to nimi where that was a really great brand building exercise like i think there's a lot of value to the investment that nimi has benefited from okay just i'm trying to understand so you're saying because we have the money in our treasury we were able to do all of that we did like without using the money, just having yeah, I mean, it in a there's, treasury. There's two different ways. One, you literally have more money in your treasury right now. So like a valuation book value perspective, like you are more valuable. And then two, you've also been getting paid by DXDAO over the last three months, which has enabled you to also like not draw down from other financial means that you have. Um, and then three, it like DXDAO paid for you to go to mm -hmm. Like Colombia and also provided like a platform for that there. So like I, again, I just think it's so odd to say that you haven't benefited from this. Chris, Chris, I never said I haven't benefited in anything. I said if I think from my perspective, if Nimi went another direction, 
it would ha we have gone further. This is what I've said. I didn't say Dijkstad has given us no no benefits, but your your argument here about the money actually doesn't make much sense for from my perspective at least. We like to uh, this is my fault, but I just got paid like I literally just claimed my payment in in Dijkstad just now. Like I haven't used any money from. Like, but this is my fault. Like it's not Dijkstad. Dijkstad could have paid me in time if I just made my proposal. Uh, but I'm just saying saying that that Dijkstad enabled us to do what we did. In my opinion, at least that's that that that's not entirely correct. But but yeah, I'm not saying there's zero benefits. Just saying, uh, have had we chosen a different direction from all the things that was happening three months ago until now, I think we would have been further. That that's what I I think. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they think something differently. That's just my opinion. And Is that, yeah, maybe it's rough to hear. It makes sense that like if you guys were working full time on it, yeah, Nimi would be further. That's that's yeah, that's quite obvious. My your disappointment is in uh, people at DXDAO haven't also contributed like actual time, you know, dev resources, design resources, community resources to Nimi during the last three months. But if those were actual needs, you you didn't no one really asked people to you said you said you didn't ask Dirk you didn't ask Keenan you didn't ask me that's fine but you also didn't take the hundred thousand dollars and hire anyone to do any of those things what were the needs that you either need to hire for or ask people to help with like and so saying that you're like I agree it's a little disappointing we haven't been able to help Nimi more as DXDAO even though we did in Bogota some but um like how come if we, if you if you need design help like use the hundred thousand dollars to hire people to do it right how come how come um, Mimi hasn't spent any of the money so so i i, I think uh, we are talking about two different things here um but but uh, yeah everything you're saying here is, is uh, yeah I, I i see and hear you i'm just saying if i could turn back back time and knew that all of the drama that was happening happened and the time people put on in Dijkstad at this time like these three months hasn't been like been three normal months working at Dijkstad if anyone wants to disagree on this please feel free to do that I'll just tell you my time have been working on solving drama solving uh, people's disagreements solving trying to find ways to to cut down uh, on 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 uh, workers I have been like in many many calls trying to make people not feel very like you, you guys don't think about the position of someone leading a squad need, needing to literally fire five, five people you work with. It is very, very, very tough. I'm just saying this, this, this environment of having this is not very good for incubating a new yeah. team where people start to question how much money you spend here and there. And it's just too much, too much drama. People don't want to engage with new drama. So they don't ask to help on me. This is this yeah. is reality. If you guys don't like it, I don't no, know what I, to tell you. Like that's that's what happened in three months. Totally, I agree that the last three months has been full of that type of stuff as well, which has taken productivity away from many, many, many people. But I guess it's the blaming the incubation things not working is just like a, a far stretch. Like the uh, Nimi hasn't gotten the attention, hasn't gotten external resources, hasn't gotten internal resources. It hasn't moved as far as it could have if everyone quit DXDAO and did Nimi full time, agree with you. But that didn't happen and we've been through what we've been through. So like, how do we make it successful going forward? I guess I like- mean, No one, no one could predict that what happened. I, I get, I'm, not, I'm not blaming us for what's happening i mean do you it think happened, it's relevant at all to the incubation discussion uh, though like, i guess 100 percent, 100 percent. it is it's I not mean, unique to the incubation situation I, I don't i don't know i'm just saying this is this is i mean i know it affected everything in dx down right? I mean, it's a huge issue and we talked about it there's a lot of things going on and i guess like what is the drama we've got i don't know we had the restructuring one and so i think it's something we can talk about yes is a drag on dx down overall and that sucks but like I guess, yeah, bad timing, but I'm not sure if it is really like relevant to the incubation discussion at all. 
I, I would say it is relevant because we, we are saying that we are going to cut costs and we are firing people here and there and we are literally saying that that we need to refocus and see what what Dijkstau should do next. And meanwhile, we do that. We put money in a, 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 in a team and we are paying them to work on something that is not a Dijkstau product, right? This is some of the feedback that uh, some DXD holders are saying, right? They're, Till this day, there's questions on the forum, and 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 they are legit, and I understand them, I feel them, uh, but I think all of this conversation is is very connected to the drama we had for the past three months. If we didn't have a beer market, if we didn't have these uh, re refocusing recross reconstruction, I think I think we would have a, a, a less of a like less yeah. questions about why are we doing this and, and why are we paying these guys money from the Xtaus treasury? Why are they getting DXD? This kind of questions are, I think in my mind, very relevant to this. Yeah, I, mean, I think the questions from DXD holders are, if you look at the proposal, it doesn't even say which specific contributors are going to get paid at the 40%. And it doesn't actually say in the proposal itself that the contributors will get paid for their time on NIMI. It leads that up to it. I remember the discussion and I remember we talked about this and I remember it went to 10% precisely because we were talking about putting paying the extra 40%. But if you look at the actual proposal, it's not there. And I think that's part of some of the confusion here. So, so I think just like, obviously we know the facts today. If, we, if I knew the facts three months ago about us downsizing and, and doing what we're doing now, I would say incubation would be a bad timing. I'm not saying Dixal can't incubate. I'm just saying it's a bad timing. And probably an incubation would be better fit like next year or something, right? Uh, when when we know where we're going and and where people feel confident enough to to help an uh, in incub incubation uh, by actually taking time taking time away from their real commitments to put it in a in a non Dixal product, uh, right? So I think it's a just a bad timing. I'm not saying Dixal can't incubate. I 100% believe Dixal should push for more incubations. I think that's that's maybe a more interesting way than, than doing new projects from, from scratch. But I'm just saying, knowing the facts now, going back three months, I would say, hey, maybe it's a bad timing. Dixal is going through this, and, and this, is not, this is not a good environment to, to incubate, uh, incubate that. That's, that's how I feel. Maybe to, yeah, Scott was asking, um, I guess like expectations, yeah, for the next three months and then like what, like planning for what happens at the end of that three months would be interesting. I don't know. Uh, is, <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't want to name names too because there's people that want to help but at the same time they're like i don't know if i'm gonna push my proposal to help nimi it, it is sad to hear it uh, but this is happening right it would be nice to hear maybe from someone that, that wants to help nimi but do doesn't want to push a proposal to have nimi in it what do they feel why can't they help nimi i think just uh thought is that maybe that's more related to the proposal wait, wait. being paid. Ross, can you just wait? XXX, what's what's so funny? I mean, we're trying to have a serious conversation here. And you, you're laughing or what's, what's the gif about? You want to speak noticed. up? No? I mean, you can use your voice. All right. Sorry, Ross. Go ahead. Um... Yeah, I think it's more to do with the bigness of the proposal. Like it's not explicitly said that anyone can make a proposal that is contributing to NIMI and get paid. And so that's probably where any confusion or doubt about actually going ahead and doing that is potentially coming from. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I, I guess the proposal says NIMI team can allocate 40% of time to NIMI for up to six months, but that's like, I guess that could be up to interpretation what that means, but um, 
Someone wants to speak, Kenny? Uh, yeah. Uh, I've been in contact with the NIMI team since since DevCon and, and uh, really interested in, in what they're doing. And I've been talking to most of the team, including Seth, and trying to see uh, some of the uh, value propositions that I could do for NIMI to move it forward. Uh, I think it would be good for both NIMI and Dixdao. So talking about uh, how, what to do for the next three months, I will at least submit one proposal to allocate some of my time to, to NIMI. I think that's a good way forward uh, because at the end of the day, I think it's a win-win situation if both NIMI and the XDAO, uh, or if, if NIMI succeeds, that's a win-win situation. So that's what I aim to do. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see, I'll put it on on DAO talk on Monday, uh, hopefully, and then um, uh, we can continue the discussion there, I guess. So I think it would be great to have more people contributing to NIMI and using resources. Um, I think just to talk a little about the proposal and the cost, I think someone set up above um, the investment. And, and so, um, at the time, uh, this discussion, like I think it was the 5%, it was 100K, and then it got basically the 10%, and we could do this additional six months. And if you look at the four team members at 40% of their time, that's $13,200 a month, which over the six months would be $79,200. Um, so when I was like looking at this proposal and voting on this proposal, I was kind of thinking, okay, it's basically $180,000 for for 10% um, of NIMI as part of this like kind of incubation process. Um, I think it could make sense for that to potentially increase if it needed to be. But I think if we are getting to like devoting other squad members time, then that's just gonna like, I think come out of, I guess the question is like, what budget is that gonna come out of in order to like allocate that time? Cause I guess that would be kind of, yeah, I mean, that's, that's what I'm saying. Um, yeah, and so Stu, in the initial proposal, and again, it says like four, I don't, it actually doesn't say the four team members, but it says the NIMI team um, would um, be able to do 40%. And that's, I think, the four people, and that would be 79,200. And so that's my kind of question is like, yeah, if Kenny is going to be doing that, does that mean DXDAO is going to be paying more of that? And does that change the economics of the like proposal with NIMI or is Deke Stow just willing to make that additional investment or commitment to pay those resources because it really, really like thinks NIMI is great and like the 10% wants to see the 10% of its stake go up in value. I think, I mean, yeah, it's just like whether Deke Stow is going to like be can, like funding that. I mean, I think we're, we're talking about, you know, moving to like a budget approval. So the question is like, I mean, I think we already have a number for, I guess, what NIMI's budget would be based on like the the original original proposal. So, like, where would the budget for NIMI come from? Yeah, do, do I have some some ideas here, but I guess Melanie, you wanted to say something. Go ahead. Yeah. Um... So I just kind of want to echo what Chris is saying. I definitely think that we should allocate resources to NIMI and especially if the XDAO contributors want to give their time to NIMI and participate, I think that's awesome. I think they should. Um, but yeah, I'm also wondering like, where does that come? Like what budget does that come from? I was under the, I was under the impression that like only the core contributors could allocate 40 percent of their time to Mimi and get compensated from it um so i'm just curious as well you know where would the budget for kenny be coming out of and even for like for milan i know he's contributing qa resources where does that budget come from i think uh, at least when we discussed this we we talked about um we talked a little bit about this uh, I'm sad. I think we don't have this on like in the forum or anything. I think we talked about this in calls, and I I, I asked um, like what happens if someone wants to dedicate one day a week, like how we do that uh, with with the DAO pay for it, who pays for it, and and, and the answer back then at least were were, were that the DAO would like, 
pay pay this worker as as usual and and that's part of the incubation and, and if if we're talking about like budgets and all of that this this talk is kind of new at least from from back then we didn't talk about squad budgets right this is a new concept that we we are we are implementing now this, i mean the squad budgets were put out in dow talk in like june so we definitely were doing this and this is how we've calculated expenses for a year and a half where we allocate a certain amount of time so i think there's always been a we are going to track like and, and there's clearly a line like i think this is the point it's like we want deep style resources to be used by nimi right that's part of like the incubation it's just the question is like when does that line come where they're like additional resources that like cost an investment like angle um and i'm not sure like where that line is but i think there is a line there um and i think it's just yeah figuring out where that line would be specifically and for me it would be if a worker is like devoting time or like putting in their worker proposal as a percentage right they're alloc they're looking for that to be paid by dxdao in a budgetary way not just like i'm going to work on this in like and help out on you know kind of in, in my free time there and so like whenever it crosses that threshold we just need to be aware of it yeah i guess we could had had a like a incubation budget i guess separately from 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 anything else where where we have like a max amount i guess or max max budget of of, of what the dao is willing to pay from 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 its workers uh, but yeah this is I guess this is how we, we learn about how to incubate, right? And I, I think we kind of expected that things would, would be not perfect, but uh, all these questions, we, we, we are all wondering the same thing. I guess that's why maybe some people don't, don't want to maybe post their proposals because they, they don't know. Uh, can I do it? How much is the max? Who's paying me? Will I get shit for this? Yeah, just to, I know there are a couple of comments in the chat. Um, Scott, yeah, I mean, the 100K has uh, barely been touched. I mean, we also received the grant from ENS. We have been using some of that just to mostly pay for infrastructure. Uh, we were looking to hire a couple of back-end engineers, but, like, um, we're not able to afford their salary at their expectation at that point in time. So it has gone, it, it has been, it is sitting in the treasury currently. Yes, that is correct. Um and then spicy soup. Um, okay, about the DXD part, yeah. Um, I, I guess this is also due to the proposal perhaps not being clear. I mean, I, I guess we could also be open to like re-clarifying it or like renegotiating the deal or whatever. I don't know. Like um, from, I think from my understanding it did include the dxc i do see the argument of why perhaps it wouldn't actually uh, i guess we were also approached back then by you know a, a group of people within dx dao who wanted us to be able to work 100 percent on Yimi paid by the dao and i actually personally raised the fact that probably like 100 percent dxd compensation would not be fair given the uh, upside of nimi uh, but yeah i guess that's like you know the i guess the proposal is not so clear as we've identified in this call I don't know if there's we could repass another proposal which clarifies all these details and uh, kind of uh, you know st straightens out some of these doubts that are around overall. Um, I, I think it, David it might be important to clarify. So the way DXDAO um, contributor framework has been set up, like I, I'm not sure you can call the DXD half of the actual payment like bonus um like a lot of people might consider that actual you know a a, a a badly allocated portion of the actual like normal payment so half of a normal payment like the whole thing should be in dollar stables but we're taking half of the dollar stables and we're turning into three-year vested locked up dxd in order to better align interests and um, save stables, like pay fewer stables from the Dow. But I don't, I don't consider that those things are um, bonuses for most people. I think that's pay that's locked up like um, for three years, which is 
slightly different. Well allocated, yeah. Well allocated. <laughs> yeah. I guess, I guess there's also another, while we're talking about Nimi, I guess there's also one concern that Nimi will never get its ENS domain uh, given the ability to jam proposals in perpetuity, but um, yeah, I don't know. Just need capital, Dave. Just put more capital. Yeah, but then you have to buy a shit ton of gen and, you know, um, you can lose a lot of money just by gen dropping, I guess, but yeah. Cool. This is maybe a good point to end the conversation. We can pick it back up another time, potentially, if there's a need for more clarification around the proposal or uh, something that I'm sure we can find some time either in the forum or in other calls throughout the next week. Uh, continue discussing. Um, but yeah, there was a there was a plan to talk about the phase two uh, proposal as well, which I think is potentially going up today uh don't, we don't have a bunch of time for it. i don't know if Kian wants to say anything briefly or if he can yeah Talk. hey guys sorry still yeah. not feeling great um but um one thing i'll kind of highlight is uh we've had an additional week here to discuss um any kind of stipulations to phase two uh, any changes i guess final call to anyone that has any grievances with the current state of the discussions and any kind of off-chain consensus collection um, if there's anything that uh, you think should be added or removed from this proposal personally please share in a public medium uh, of course the form being one of the primary and best places to do that um, i do plan on submitting a signal proposal for today um, i guess that's PST time, so it may be tomorrow for some of you uh, in Europe. Um, but that is my plan for today. Um, yeah, honestly, not much to add for it. We've had a lot of good discussions uh, so far. Um, so I don't think you know anything beyond an attention call here makes sense. Awesome. Uh, if no one else has anything to say, I think we can finish up there. We're just a bit past our, uh, past the error. Uh, it was a good, good conversation. It's nice to see everyone getting involved. Uh, yeah, have a nice weekend, everyone, and uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks, Russ. Yes. Thanks, Thanks. Jess.